Your what's good? You already know who it is. It's your boy Devon, aka your granddad. Probably want this sweater. <laughs> yeah, we outside, man. Hey, it's another week. This is my tenth episode. Whew. Ten, ten of them things. We out here, man. We out here. Yo, I just want to appreciate everybody that's been watching or whatever. Look, I'm trying to give a speech like it's the 10th year anniversary. But no, no, no. I'm just proud to hit double digits, man. We hit double digits. But uh, yeah, yeah. We here for another week. Fashion. Um, we getting closer to... Uh, they going to open outside back up. So we getting closer to that. So we can get to show off our fits and all that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sneaker releases coming out this week. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get back to the hashtag segment. Oh, yeah. We getting back to it. And um, and also back to the um, influencer slash blogger uh, spotlight. We gonna we gonna get back to that too, man. So I uh, gotta show love to it. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a, a nice and good one. And um, yeah, sit back, relax, and just take in all this fly. Feel me? All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We getting right to it, right to it. So um, sneaker releases for this week. What we got going on? We got a classic, classic Reeboks. Uh, we got the Reebok Club C. So they celebrating the 35th anniversary with a new color pack. And I'm a huge fan of the Reebok Club Cs. Yo, the Club C is definitely that that 80s, you know what I mean, that 80s look to, to the B-Boy, they rocking and all that. Or these also look like the joints in school when you know the kids that was like they wanted to be cool but they couldn't get the dope dope sneakers but they want a name brand so they mom was like yo i'm gonna give you some reeboks they name brand and they they threw on the club c's but these are smooth though like nowadays these are smooth this is like the old man shoe go it go well with the old man sweater i got on you feel me but uh nah these are these are definitely dope <clears throat> these debuted in, in 85 again this is the 35th anniversary they got the red joints, the red and white joints, smooth. They got the white, uh, the white and green joints, smooth. And they got the white and yellows. I'm messing with this Reebok. I'm messing with these. You know, um, I yeah, I think I, I need to cop up on these. These are smooth. These are smooth. You can rock these with with damn near anything. Um, <clears throat> dress these up. Dress these down. You know, like I like I love doing. You can throw these on with a suit. You could throw these on with some jeans, quick, you know what I'm saying? Run outside or whatever. And um, yeah, yeah, if you if you got like a, a little house party gathering, you going to a game night, throw these joints on, throw these joints on. I'm sure when you get over there, you might have to take the shoes off because you know, people don't want you to walk around in, in the shoes, so hope your socks is on point. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are cool, these are cool. These are actually out right now. So you can cop these on Reebok.com. Uh, these go for a smooth $80. Eighty dollars, you know, not too crazy. You know, mess with these. I mess with these. Um, yeah, yeah, moving right along, moving right along. All right, so these next joints I had to talk about. These joints, Nike did a, a footwear pack, and oh man, it's inspired by Rucker Park. Yes, the world famous street ball tournament, the court and all that. Yeah, one fifty fifth. Shout out to Harlem all day. Uh, but yeah, so these was these was inspired by Rucker Park. They got an Air Force One and an Air Barrage Barrage. I'm gonna say Barrage. I think that's how you pronounce it. But um, yeah. So they, they white and orange. You know what I'm saying? Give you that feel of just that that old back in the park days or whatever. But now the Air Force One. These are actually the '97 edition of Air Force One. It's a little difference. It's a little difference. Now what I like about these these Air Force Ones specifically. I don't know if y'all remember, I want to say it had to be like, hmm, maybe like 2002 or something like that. But if was ones was doing the outline, it was doing the outline um, joints with the had the different colors, but it was outlining the sneaker fire and they brought it back with this look. They doing the outline with the orange. These are tough. Got the little basketball emblem in the, in the front. Yeah, this is tough. But I ain't gonna front these air barrage. I remember, I remember when these was popping. These are the lows, though. These are the lows. I mess with these too. This is a real throwback feel, you know. Um, and it's paying homage to to Rucker Park. Like, come on now. 
Oh man, shout out to Rucker. I, I, I remember going out there seeing Skip. Uh, I seen that Jamal Crawford, Jay, all them Swiss. They all was out there. Got to see all them. Seen some greats play. Um, oh man, it was it was it was crazy. It was crazy. It was definitely crazy out there. I miss Rucker being Rucker. It's not like that no more. Got to get it back to that. But um, yeah. These are cool. These are dope. These are dope. These are actually coming out. Um, these are coming out in uh, Atmos, Tokyo. These come out in Japan. I'm I'm sure it's going to be over here soon, but right now, these are actually out over um, in Japan. Comes out. Uh, actually came out on the 13th of this month. Um, yeah, these are going for about one. 120 for the uh, Barrage Lows and for the Air Force Ones is going for about 102. So um, yeah, cop of the Atmos. Um, yeah, yeah, these these are cool. I rock with these. We back again with Como de Garcon. They got another collaboration with Nike. Nike Dunk Lows. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, these are trash. Yeah, these are trash. Um, I'm cool on these, you know, I, 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 I decided to talk about them because, you know, everybody like a good collab with Dover Street Market. They like Como Dega song because they do the uh, the Converse, the Chuck Taylors or whatever, which is cool. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people going to cop because, you know, they're just fan of Dunks. I'm, I'm a fan of Dunks too. Not a fan of these. It's just too much going on for me. It's too much going on. All the letters and stuff. I I, I see that it's, it's got the clear little situation up there. That's cool. Whatever. It's just a lot going on. Um, they could have they could have you know kept it a little more subtle. And and the crazy thing is, they're known for doing subtle stuff. Like when when uh, Carmen Nigga saw do the do the collabs with people. They they like to keep it subtle. But um, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's, I'm pretty sure y'all gonna go cop. Uh, but yeah. These are the uh, Nike Dunk Low Pack by Como de Garçon, and um, these are coming out May 14th, May 14th. No price just yet, no price just yet, but uh, look out for them. You can cop this at Dover Street Market, always at Dover Street Market, definitely dope out there. I'm going to talk about these, don't really care, but uh, these are Jordan Delta, Vachetta Tan. I'm not going to lie, I like the color, I'm cool on a sneaker, you know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. It's these are coming out May 14th, $150. I don't know how y'all feel about these. I'm cool on them. It's, it's, it's good for a workout. It's good for a workout if you want to just, you know what I mean, get your workout on. Uh, but yeah, these are, um, they come in, they run in the whole full family size. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, it's not nothing, nothing else really to say. But like I said, I do like the mint and green and the tan on them. I ain't going for it. I do like that. Uh, move right along. <sighs> they back. They back again. Probably here to disappoint. <sighs> Stussy Nike Air Zoom Spirit Dawn Cage 2. I know y'all tired of me talking about these joints. I know. But this is a different, it's a new colorway. They got the black and the cool gray. Not gonna lie, these are, these are kind of fire. I actually mess with these. Um, I'm not going to go too hard for them, but if I can get my hands on them, dope. If not, it is what it is. But these come out May 14th. Um, I'm going for 160. It's going to be hard to get. These are smooth, man. Smooth black joint. The bottom's cool gray. I just like the silhouette of the Spirit Dawn Cage 2s. Like, I'm, I'm definitely mess with the other colors that they got. They definitely got some other colors that's definitely, you know, rockable. Um, but these, these are, these are smooth. I like these. Um, this is the second collab that uh, Stussy did with Nike, as far as with with this particular uh, design sneaker. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, try, try to cop up. This is definitely a dope pair. May fourteenth, May fourteenth. Uh, go out, wake up early. <laughs> that's all I can say. Then we have the uh, Converse Chuck 70, Renew High and Ox Tricolor. I'm not a Chuck Taylor fan like that, but these are cool. These are cool. I rock with these. This is real smooth. Give you that that old type of vibe, you know. Um, you know, we got the uh, got the lavender, orange. It's, I don't know if we want to call it mustard. It's like a mustard feel. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But the low top joints, the Ox. <laughs> These joints is kind of tough. It, it kind of get a, a bowling sneaker feel, but you know what I'm saying? I like the pastel color. I, 
I can do some things with these. I like these. I rock with these. So the high tops is going for 95. Low tops going for 90. These are small. These are small. I'm rocking with these. Um, you can cop these on a Converse site or Asphalt Gold. Uh, yeah, this is, this is real 70s feel. I, I, yeah, I do like this. I do like these. So yeah, y'all go cop up. Okay, um, Nike Air Prestos. All my Uptown people, ha, I know y'all mess with the Prestos. I know y'all mess with the Prestos. So they got a new uh, zebra looking joint coming out, but this is the Nike Air Presto Korea. So basically they did like a whole zebra feel to it. Um, it's actually, my fault, it's not even zebra. It's actually inspired by uh, the Puzan Panthers or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, yeah. So it's a special Korean edition or whatever. Um, these are coming out on the Nike sneaker app. Coming out May 15th, $130. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cop up on these. Cop up on these if you rock with the Prestos. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this colorway, but you know, I can see why people may want to mess with it. It's kind of cool. You know, it is what it is. Uh, let me see what else. Okay, we got uh, Reebok Insta Pump Fury City Pack. As of lately, I've been a fan of these Fury Pumps, man. I'm not going to lie to you. These kind of cool, real workout type of vibe. Um, I'm rocking with these. These coming out May 15th, $169. Uh, you can buy them at the Atmos site. Yeah, they got uh, they got the white with the red. They got a black and the yellow. These are real smooth. Like a, I think they got like a white and gray too. Yeah, these are these are these are smooth. I rock with these. These are kind of cool. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cop up on these. This this is the Reebok Insta Pump Fury City Pack for show. Sure. Uh, these next joints. I spoke about these before, but they they didn't have a date just yet. So now they're coming out May 15th, one, oh, coming out May 15th, Stray Rats by New Balance 827. These is all right. I actually rock with these. New Balance, been, they've been, been, you know what I mean? They're coming at them. They're throwing them out there. These are kind of dope. These are kind of dope. 156, uh, May 15th, cop these at Good Hood. Uh, yeah, I, I mess with these. These is all right. These is all right. Um, I like the brown. I like the, the green, it's a subtle green. I like I like all the, the subtle bright colors. It's always dope with the earth tone joint. Yeah, yeah, I'm rocking with these. Um, yeah, man, yeah, man. Stray Rats by New Balance. Uh, again, May 15th, May 15th, cop up. Um, I guess I'll talk about these too, cause you know, anything Yeezy related, you gotta talk about it. And these are the Adidas Yeezy 500 High, I think Tyrion. Um, these joints are just the high top uh, Yeezys. Not much for me to say. Shout out to Ye, but uh, I'm cool on these. Yeah, these are brown with like a purple type of vibe. This is more like, I don't know. It's like a basketball sneaker, kind of look like, look like a boot. I'm not sure. Y'all gonna cop up. Uh, yeah. Yeezy, Tyrion, joints, whatever. You know, do what you do. And um, I'm gonna end it off with the, the big one for this week is uh, the Nike LeBron 7 Media Day. So the Media Day joints, um, LeBron wore these. Uh, I wanna say this is his, uh, his um, first Lakers Media Day. Oh, maybe not his first. I think this was back in like 2019. But. He did media, media day for the Lakers, and he put the the retro sevens on, but he had the Laker colors, and um, this is just kind of cool. This is kind of cool. I mean, I like some LeBrons, but I don't know if I can really go cop because I I don't know. I got this thing where I don't really wear do sneakers that still playing in the league. I don't know. It's just it's just me. It's just a rule of mine. It, it gotta be somebody. It gotta be some old niggas from the '90s. I don't know. That's just a rule of mine. But these are kind of cool. If I if I was a cop, I would probably play ball in them or something. But these are kind of cool. Um, yeah, yeah. The Nike LeBron Seven Media Days. You know, I I, I do a little fit with these. These kind of kind of dope. But yeah, um, I like I like I like that they brought these out. But then again, I don't like it because I remember back in the day where you can look at certain exclusive joints that. 
the players was wearing. And you're like, yo, when these coming out? And they never coming out. They just a special edition for the player. But it looked like Nike's bringing out every special edition. And that's kind of whack. It kind of takes away from the exclusivity from things. And that's not as not as fun as just as a sneaker, you know, fan that I am. Sneaker hey, sneaker fan, whatever you want to call me. Um, yeah, but uh, I mean, it's kind of cool to have access to it, I guess. But when everybody can get access to it, it's like, eh. But yeah, so these coming out. Uh, May 16th, $200, Nike Sneakers app, it's going to be in Foot Locker, you're going to have a chance to get them everywhere, so if you miss out on the app, you can go to Foot Locker, you can go to Champs and all that, those websites, uh, yeah, yeah, so um, definitely, Nike LeBron 7 Media Day, and that's it, man, that's all, we'll wrap up for the sneaker releases of this week. This is cool, as always. If you cop anything, hashtag close down. Let me see what y'all doing with these sneakers, or if you just got a random fit, like just hashtag close down and all that. Um, yeah, man, yeah, man. Um, this this is it was kind of cool week, kind of cool week. You know, every week is always some some heat dropping, and I'm always, I'm gonna bring it to you, even if I don't rock with them all. I'm gonna bring it to you because there's somebody out there watching. That might mess with these, you know? So, um, yeah, that's how that's going. Yo, had to bring back the fashion blogger slash influencer spotlighter this week. Um, this week, we got a real stylish dude from out of bed star. Goes by the name of Stylin on Instagram. Uh Real dope, real dope. He, 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 his fits be crazy. His fits was crazy. I randomly stumbled upon him on IG, but uh, had to show some love. You know what I'm saying? Always show love to the bald, bearded brothers. You feel me? Bald head thoughts. Yes, the bald beard brothers got to show the love. Got to show the love. Um, but yeah, yeah. This this brother man, he suited up, keep it real fly, real dapper. Um, and he 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 like to do the suits with with the with the Jordans, with the Jordans, and, and and I'm a big fan of that. Throwing on some Jordans, just randomly with some with a suit, some dress up type. So you know, I gotta respect that game. Um, yeah, we gonna we gonna get into some of his fits, man. He definitely definitely does his thing. Uh, I mean, the colors, he he, he know how to rock a lot of the, the vibrant colors. All right, man, we are gonna get right into it. This first fit, man. I'm really digging this. I like this. I'm a huge fan of light colors up top, then going, you know, a little dark on the bottom, just switching up the tone. And he played with these colors pretty well. He got the, like the salmon pants with like a, you know, like a burgundy situation up up, up top. And then he, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the jacket, I don't even know what color the jacket is, but it's this is dope. I like how he put all this together. Then he's just throwing the pond green and black ones. I'm rocking with this. It's different. It's different. He out there being safe. Got the scarf around the face, you know, trying to mask up. But uh, yeah, I rock with these. This is cool. This is cool. You got the Long Vaughn scarf. My bad. My bad. I, you got it. You got it. Now nah, these are these are dope. This is dope. Um. Uh. Yeah. 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 I, I like. I like how he did this. I like how he did this. The pond green. You see, you don't have to match it. I, I always say that. You don't have to match to the T. You know what I'm saying? The colors go together. Make it work, make it work. It's like, you look at salmon, salmon is like red. You know what I'm saying? You know, red go with green, but this is just a different shade of red. So when you're playing with these colors, you gotta look at it like this. Think about a solid color. Then you think about the different tones of that color. So whatever you would wear blue with, every other tone of that color blue, you can still wear with whatever color you was gonna wear blue with. You know what I'm saying? So if you're doing the blue with the red, or whatever the case may be, or you're doing the blue with green, you can do baby blue with green. You can do, uh, you can do obsidian with green. Like you can have fun with just different colors, just to change the tones. And he played off well with this. He played off well with this. I definitely rock with this. This is dope. Uh, it's the next joint. Had to show the suit in the booty side, man. I'm a big fan of double-breasted suits. This is dope. 
he did the brown i like how he showed the different ways to wear it on the look at the footwear look at the footwear you know what i'm saying he did it he did the one he did it with the uh fila low top joints the old school joints with no tie like that with the blue fedora like that then he did it with the the loafers at the bottom nice pair of navy socks he threw on a tie with it like that with the uh like a brown a brownish fedora then he got the big gerald you know hat on you know what i'm saying you already know with no tie but he threw on the adidas real subtle but then he did the orange because the orange looked dope with the brown i'm rocking with this then he got the boot joints on he got the got the boots on with it you know what i'm saying like these this is cool he kept it real cool then he played it with the plaid shirt and brought more the orange because again the orange with the brown think cleveland browns orange and brown goes together well let that thing rock then he got the brown shoes he kept it real subtle real subtle i, I i'm rocking with this bro I, I see him out here he's outside he's outside i'm rocking with this and all with the fedora i mean beer game on point you know you know what i'm saying he, come on bold bold bearded brothers this is what we do we all that's what we do it's a secret society all we ask is trust bald beards bald beards uh oh this one right here playing with the colors again playing with the colors got the plaid pants again with the ones the blue ones kept the blue theme going i like this i like this then with the orange this is fun this is fun you know what i'm saying um yeah yeah the orange polo this is this is dope Fit is nice, you know what I'm saying? Fit is nice, I like this. With the with the pants and and then you got the scarf and all that. Cause he, he playing he playing with the plaid. The plaid, you gotta have fun with it. You don't have to have too much plaid. You if you already got your pants talking, let him talk. I like what he did here. I like what he did here, man. He, he definitely represented with this one. This is this, this is dope. This is definitely dope. Again, bright colors. This is fire. Come on, a lime green top coat. I got my hat go off to you. Oh, hit the mic now. <laughs> my hat go off to you, brother. My hat go off to you. Got me hitting the mic and all that pause. But um, yeah, yeah, this is dope. This is dope. Got a little joker feel to it, but I like it. I like it. He did the uh he did the court purple ones. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he's a fan of ones. He got the um he got the lavender shirt under it. He got the plaid, um, my fork. He got the, um, uh, what, what, uh, what would you call it? Uh, the graph paper. It's like a graph paper uh, look on, on the suit. But this is dope. This is dope. I definitely rock with this. I love the color choice. And I like that he just threw the green on over it to go with the purple. Everything is purple, nothing green. Top it off with the green pop, pop of color. This is fire, man. This is fire definitely rocking with this um yeah man um that's it man that's it yo shout out to at stylin um i believe his actual name is george yo shout out to him yo man go follow him um if you want some real dope grown man having fun with colors not just all boring subtle you know outfits follow the man show him some love man show him some love uh yeah style in man yo yo we gotta we gotta collab on something bro we gotta collab on something bald beard brothers bald beard brothers we here man we here but uh yeah again go follow at style in okay we back we back hashtag dressing segment today's hashtag had to do none other then the hashtag Jordan 5 Fire Red. Yeah, them joints just came out. Them joints just came out. Hot off the press. Your boy had the cop. Yes, these are some OG joints. So um I had I mean I talked about them already on the show. I had to see what the people were doing. I know they was rushing to go put them on, throw some outfits together. Let's see what we got on hashtag Jordan 5 Fire Red. Get right into it. Okay, starting off with your boy. Um, this is uh, this is doo doo. This is doo doo. Um, I'm gonna just get right into it. 
Sneakers, great, great, great. Um, sweatpants, I'm cool on these. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why he did that. And then the hoodie is cool. It's it's dope that he got the you know the Jordan on the hoodie. You know that was his uh, last shot against Utah. Um, I, I see what he was trying to do to keep the Jordan theme going, but it might have been more fire if he would have had a shot that Jordan had the fives on. You know what I'm saying? Like when he dropped 69 on Cleveland. Like if he had like a highlight of that, you know, that would have been kind of cool if you want to be matchy-matchy. But yeah, this is too matchy-matchy. I'm cool. Uh, this outfit, um, this is what I like to call ankle fresh. When the outfit is trash above the ankle, but your footwear is on point, yeah, you ankle fresh. So ankle down, you lit. He killed it, ankle down, he killed it. But that's where it ends. That's where it ends. Moving right along, moving right along. Okay, okay, we got the ladies in the building. Um, I'm actually digging this. I'm actually digging this. You know, I'm a fan of sneakers and, and dresses, sneakers and skirts, you know. Um, this is kind of cool. She kept it real simple. Red little skirt on, white sweatshirt. I mean, try to throw a little shades on, add a little coolness to it. And I mean, she got a little hat on on it and all that. Yeah, um, she 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 kept the white and red thing going. I'm not a fan of that, but the choices of you know clothing, I, I do like that she did. You know, you think the dress you gonna have like some I don't know some heels or some sandals or something? No, She's throwing these fives on y'all. What's up? What we doing with the skirt? It's lit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is definitely dope. This is definitely dope. Uh. But uh, shout out, shout out to Stalin, um, Stalin skirts. Yes, my girl out there, Mariah. I see you. She's been doing the skirts and sneaker game heavy. She's been doing that. But uh, yeah, she 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 should uh show you some love. But uh, yeah, um, yeah yeah, I, I rock with this one. This is this is kind of cool, you know. Um, yeah, moving right along, moving right along. All right, all right. I know we was giving shout outs to the bald and beard brothers, but this one, he not fully bald. So I don't know if I respect it in full. I'm gonna give him a benefit. Maybe he just uh, forgot to shave that day. But then again, it's looking a little shaped up, even on the bald. I don't, I don't know. But uh, it's not about, it's not about the hair, even though that is a part of the fit. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's not about that. Um, let's talk about the fit. Uh, let's get right into, um, this is doo doo. This is doo-doo. Not rocking with it. I'm just not for the matchy-matchy. Like, this is a lot. The white and the black and the red, that's dope on a sneaker. But let me do the black pants with the white and red hoodie. Like, come on. You didn't, no thought went into this outfit? No thought at all. Yeah, I'm cool on this. I'm cool on this. Like, it's not just much. I mean, I know the whole NASA theme thing is like a popular thing. And obviously he had to put the, the feet up because that's what it's all about, the sneakers, because the fit, <laughs> we ain't talking about that. Again, another one, ankle fresh, hashtag ankle fresh. You hear anybody say that? Started with me. Yeah, so it's a lot of people out there that's ankle fresh. They footwear be fire, then they fit. Nah, I'm cool, I'm cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's nothing more to really speak about this. Um, you know, moving right along, move right along. Um. Okay, okay. I see her. She try to give the little sexy vibe and all that. Got the shirt up, show the abs. You been working out? You have been working out. But uh, with this full gray uh, sweatsuit on, you need to work on the outfit. That's what you need to work. This is laziness. So may I'm gonna give her the benefit. Maybe she just went outside real quick. I'm gonna run to the store, but let me throw the files on. I don't know, I don't know. I, I, all gray suit. I'm cool on this. Actually, I think this is the, she got the st the stussy joint on that, that go with the uh, Spirit Dawn cages. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely, I'm cool on this. Uh, I seen she, like again, shout out to her on the abs. Shout out to her on the abs. But the fit, I'm cool. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's it. That's it for the um, hashtag segment. As always, you know, if y'all have any ideas for hashtags, throw them at me. It's, I don't see them all, so you know, I, I just pick random hashtags and see what they got. Or even if you don't want me to throw a hashtag, what some of y'all to send some outfits to me? Let me see what y'all wearing. Like I always say, hashtag close down or just DM me 
at Devon and Confidence. You already know, man. Um, but yeah, again, that's it. Hashtag dressing. That hashtag dressing, we, we don't do that. You gotta have your own vibe. You gotta have your own vibe. Don't stop going to hashtags and just picking out outfits. You're not doing that over there. All right? Moving right along. All right, people. Another great episode. Wrapping it up. Um, appreciate y'all being here. You know, rocking out again for the 10th episode. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. Yeah, we outside, man. Call me Devon Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Consistent. Yeah, that's what we do. Um, again, follow me at Divine and Conquers. Also follow at Close Down. Uh, also, you know, follow the other pages too. Follow at Ballhead Thoughts. Yeah, that's my podcast. You already know. Um, and also follow at Across the Board Show. Yes, your boy is working. Your boy is working. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, it's always love. We appreciate. I appreciate y'all definitely for uh, watching. Um, gotta end it off how I end it off every week. Nothing gonna change. You already know. I am not a stylist. I'm just stylish. I like your boy. Ha! I see some ladies tonight at the house party. DJ saving my life. My jeans say ice on them and my AV is white. Nike's got Mike on them and he's saving your flight. I ain't saying the price because this is Brooklyn son. With the crooks is from and I ain't looking dumb. It's the season where rings come off the hand like a rerun. We see what's happening. That's on patching in Bainbridge. Same kids, you know them play the last car on the train kids. The Mickey Mama shake her head, it's a shame kids. Can't snitch where we from, no names kid. Anyway, getting back to the basement. Ball head thoughts, yes. <laughs> but biology passing, if you feel chemistry, let anatomy happen. Tell the DJ keep on playing.